All right, so example 20 kind of ties everything together. Let's read the instructions first. It says, use the table to determine if the pattern is an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence. Let's stop there. Let's go ahead and figure it out. Is it arithmetic or geometric? All right, so we look at it. I start at the bottom, and I got 27 minus 9. 27 minus 9 is 18. And then I look at the middle y value and the top y value. 9 minus 3 is 6. All right, so I got 18 and 6. Those aren't the same number. That's telling me it's a geometric sequence. So we have a geometric sequence. Okay, let's look, read on. Uh, then circle the equation that matches the table. All right, so first off, I know it's a geometric sequence. If it's a geometric sequence, it has to be an exponential function. Well, all four of them are exponential. Well, that's great. Okay. So now i got to figure this out. How else can I do this? Well, another way I can do this is let's plug 1 in for each equation and see which one spits out 3. All right, so 3 to the first power, well, that's 3. So 3 to the first power is 3, so that one still works. Okay, and then I have negative 3 to the first power. Uh, negative 3 to the first power is negative 3. Uh, that one doesn't work because, remember, my answer has to be positive 3. If I'm plugging in x equals 1, then my answer has to be 3. Well, I got negative 3 here. This one doesn't work. Okay, uh, 6 to the first power. Well, that's 6. That one doesn't work. And negative 6 to the first power. Well, that's negative 6. That doesn't work either. So this first one over here, y equals 3 to the x, has to be my answer for this equation. 